Hey everyone, Pastor Nick here in my backyard getting things done. Of course, there's never a good time for a pandemic to happen, but it just so happened that this one took place in the spring. And in the spring, there is a lot to be done in the backyard or in the yard in general. I'm going to read to you from 1 Corinthians 3 chapter 3 verse 6 to 9 and this is Paul the Apostle speaking he says I planted Apollos watered but God gave the increase so that neither he who plants is anything nor he who waters but God who gives the increase now he who plants and he who waters are one and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor for we are God's fellow workers you are God's field, you are God's building. I find this a uh, very interesting passage of scripture. Um, here Paul makes the point of you know, kind of what it's like when we're presenting the gospel to people. Some, some people plant that initial seed of the word of God into someone's heart. And you may not always see that come into fruition. Um, and then others, they come along and they water a pre-existing seed that has already been planted. And we can find ourselves uh, doing either or. Sometimes we're planting the seeds. Sometimes we're the ones who come along and, and water. But either way, we're, we're a team. We're the people of God working together for his kingdom. We are his field, we are his building, we are what he uses to operate in this world and to use to spread his gospel to the masses. But I find it so interesting, just like when you're planting some sort of seed in your yard, uh, maybe it's grass seed, and you're just trying to make grass grow on a sandy lot like me. Or you could be planting a vegetable garden or a flower bed. And you put all the work into it like you're supposed to. You plant the seeds the proper way at the proper time. You fertilize, you water those seeds. But in the end, it's kind of a funny thing because you can't really make it grow yourself. You can do, you can put in all the work that you're supposed to, but at the end of the day, it's up to God whether that, that flower springs up or that the grass grows properly or those vegetables come out of the ground. It's totally up to God. Life is, life is an absolute miracle. And that's what it's like in the kingdom of God as well. You don't always know what kind of ground that you're you're planting on. Um, you don't even you don't always know what what is going to happen to the seed that you've either planted or that you've watered. And it can be frustrating, I guess, at times for us because you plant those seeds and in, into your your friends and your family, and you don't always see those things come to fruition. You don't always see those those prayers answered. You don't always see the results of those Bible studies when you're planting the seeds. But one day in the future, someone could come along and water that pre-existing seed and something will come out of it. Maybe one of your your friends or your family that you you talk to about Jesus and you've presented the gospel to them, maybe they'll receive salvation somewhere down the line. Maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. But the point is, 
we can only do what we're supposed to do. We can only do what God has called us to do, to plant those seeds and to water those seeds, and then he'll do the rest. The, the miracles the, that, that take place in people's lives, the, the transformations, all of that is between them and God. They have to work that out. They have to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling and, and ultimately, you know, we can say all the right words, we can do all the right things, but in the end, it's God that's going to transform an individual's life. And I know at times that can be frustrating for us because we we want to see those results right away. I, I'm not always a patient person. Sometimes I'm patient. It just depends on what I'm being patient about <laughs> or supposed to be being patient about. But when it comes to planting planting grass seed, I'm certainly not patient. I would love to see results overnight. Um, I want to plant those seeds. I want to fertilize them. I want to water them. And I want to wake up the next morning and all that grass to be covering my lawn and look luscious and look green hasn't happened yet. It's, it's in the process and it's working. Um, but one thing that can grow overnight are these bad boys, dandelions. And I didn't really realize until uh, I moved out of the, <clears throat> the country, um, besides the farmers, but these, these dandelions are technically weeds in this neighborhood and nobody wants them. Um, so they are, they are picked and they are attacked. But the grass certainly does not grow as fast as the weeds and to me that can be a test of my patience and it can be frustrating because uh, I know it's only May but I want that I want that nice lawn to to appear in my yard but all I know is I did my work and it's up to God to do the rest if that grass is gonna grow the way that I would like to see it and as I was doing that, I was just kind of thinking about this, this scripture um, where Paul's talking about people watering, people planting, people doing things, different things in the kingdom of God, but we're, we're, we're all one and we're really nothing outside of God. Everything that we do would be in vain um, if we didn't have God in the picture because ultimately God's going to be the one to miraculously give that life. So I want to encourage you with that today. Maybe you've been frustrated because you've planted some seeds, you've you've had some Bible studies with people, or you've watered some pre-existing seeds and people heard about Jesus and you've been kind of watering what they, they already know and, and, and hoping for that to grow. And maybe you haven't seen the results that you want to see yet, but I want to encourage you because in due time, God is going to come through and he's going to do what only he can do. He's going to bring life to what you've planted and to what you've watered. So today, the efforts that you've put into the kingdom of God, the work that you're doing, it is not in vain. That labor is not in vain. If you're doing it for God in the kingdom of God, then he sees that. And he rewards accordingly and one day we will see that reward and we will see all the the fruit to our efforts and to our labor and that's an exciting thing so I want to encourage you with that this morning be blessed have a great day in Jesus name